Oh, this is the CRT man here. Today I'm showing you the uh, insides of an IMAC G5 ambient light sensor model. This is actually my IMAC G5 number two. This is the one that you rarely ever see on my channel. And when I say number two, I mean this is the secondary one because I have two IMAC G5s and this is the most unused one. So what I did was I loosened three screws on the bottom down here, which is really easy. And then you just lift up and then just pull that off and you're inside. Easier than it looks. Well, I'm not sure how it looks, but it's pretty darn easy. So here's the insides. This is going to be a really hard video to film, I guess, because I don't have my friend's iPod touch like I did last year. But I'll try my best anyway. So yeah, here's the insides. You got a ton of electrolytic capacitors, uh, all these. This computer does work, there's no problems with it actually. Here is the power supply, which I hear these were actually prone to failing because uh, in 2011 my iMac G5 number one had a power supply failure and we had to go to a Mac repair shop, a local one, and get a replacement and now it's working flawlessly again. Here is some of the case fans. Here's the hard drive, which I believe might be some sort of Western Digital or IBM. I, I gotta check. I don't really know how to loosen this kind of stuff. Here is the uh, PowerPC G5 processor under that G5 logo. Uh, here's where the RAM goes. It's DDR, SD RAM, DDR1, not 2. Uh, it only has 512 megabytes, never really bothered to up, uh, upgrade it or anything. Uh, like I said, this computer is rarely used. I'm not exactly sure what the heck this is. And I believe these two things right here, if you could see them, are the speakers. I believe. And yeah, this is the 2005 ambient light sensor model. Uh, the capacitors look alright. Uh, yeah, I hear that these are also prone to capacitor leakage and all kinds of crap like that. Here is the USB slots area and all that. Uh, I'm pretty good when it comes to Power Mac G4s, G3s, beige Power Mac for the 90s. But when it comes to these all-in-ones, I'm not really all that good at really knowing exactly what everything is. Here is the CMOS battery. I just wanted to show you the insides. I mean, I know there's other videos out there about the insides which actually know who, where people actually know what the heck all this stuff is. I know what most of it is, though, because I do have uh, a lot of uh, just kind of self-taught computer experience. So there you go. Quick, somewhat crappy video on the insides of my basically unused iMac G5 number 2. And I don't really even know how to access the screen, the LCD built-in LCD monitor. Boy, I'm seriously sorry about that. My mom actually once again called in the middle of the video, <laughs> just like she did last August 2012 in one of my early videos, and I had to redo the entire video because I wasn't good at editing, and recently on my Super Mario Brothers Let's Play. Uh, but yeah, before I cut this video short again, I found out what this is. I'm a freaking idiot. It's the CD drive. It's right here. Or DVD, RW, whatever. So there you have it. Complete insides. Uh, I still need to learn what these little green things or the copper wires on are. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.